Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today I'm guiding you through yin yoga for heart opening and emotional healing. And this practice was actually requested from one of the students on this channel. So thank you for bringing forward your suggestion. This practice that we'll be moving through today will help us to navigate the intersection between our physical body and our emotional body. So in many ways, our physical body is an emotional map of our past. And this practice is giving you the space that you need today to connect in with your emotions, to process and digest emotions, and also to let go of any emotions that are ready to be released. So in today's practice, we'll work with two yoga blocks or a bolster. And if you don't have either of these props at home, don't worry about it. Just grab a rolled blanket or even a cushion or a pillow. And we'll take a moment to center and ground into our breath and our heart at the beginning of our practice. So come to a seated position and rest your palms either face down on your thighs or relax your palms into your lap. And we'll close our eyes. Taking a moment to feel your body, your hips rooted downward into the earth, and your thigh bones relaxed. Feeling into a sense of spaciousness along the vertebrae of your spine, extending the crown of your head towards the sky. Relaxing the space between your eyebrows and parting your teeth, relaxed tongue. You can swallow a few times, softening your throat, allowing your shoulders to melt away from your ears. becoming receptive through your body. Aware of the natural flow of your breath, passing in and out through your nose. Connecting to the deeper pranic pulse of your breath. I like to imagine golden sunlight moving in through my breath. Expanding up into the center of the heart. And can you rest your inner gaze at the heart space, right at the center of your chest? Feeling the golden light expand on the in-breath and expand on the out-breath. Becoming aware of any emotional currents living in the heart space. Noticing what's present and also what's not present.
Emotions are often subtle in nature. Noticing the subtle emotional currents that want to rise up to the surface of your awareness. And we'll continue this exploration as we move from posture to posture, tuning into our emotional body. And from this space of conscious relaxation, let's open our eyes and we'll move into our first long hold. We'll be moving into supported fish pose to bring some opening into the heart space. So we'll work with our yoga blocks. You can set up your yoga blocks in a T shape. You can either work with the highest setting on the block, bringing the prop along the center of the spine. I personally find that a little too intense for me. So I like to work with the lower height setting taking the flat part of the prop to my spine and to the base of the skull. So the wide, flat area. And you can choose either. And if neither of these um, support really works for you today, grab a bolster and bring a bolster along your spine or a rolled blanket instead. And as we come onto our back, let's bend our knees. Lower down and take a moment to adjust the bottom prop along the spine. Making sure that you have lots of space to breathe. So if you bring the prop a little too low down, it can restrict your breathing. So just find that perfect spot right at the shoulder blades. Support the base of your skull with a second prop. Taking a few moments to adjust. Letting the shoulders melt away from your ears. Relaxing your jaw. And you can always keep your knees bent with your sole, soles of your feet on the ground. If it feels okay for your back, extend both legs out. Coming into a resting posture. Palms open to face the sky. And maintaining breath and awareness at the center of your chest.
beginning to sense deeper into this posture by noticing any emotional sensations that you might be holding through the chest, shoulders, through your lungs, heart, or even the thymus gland in the chest. Perhaps sensing emotions down through the arms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. And for your last minute here, you can stay exactly as you are, or you can reach your palms behind you and take a hold of opposite wrists or elbows. Three big breaths. Relaxing your arms and moving very slowly as you bend your knees, placing your feet on the floor. Rolling off of your props to one side of the body. Placing one palm to the ground and then let's slowly roll up. You can place your props off to the side. And we'll bend at our knees, hugging our knees closer towards the heart and let's round the spine for a breath or two. Forehead to your knees, widen through the upper back. Relax your neck. Taking a breath, lifting up through the crown of your head and just noticing how it feels to bring space to the heart center. We'll wing our knees open and bring the soles of our feet together now, sliding the heels away from the groin. Taking a breath here, adding any support you need under the sits bones. And we'll fold forward here. You can add support for your forehead on top of your feet or perhaps a bolster for your chest, depending on how much support you need tonight. And let's relax here for the next several minutes. And 
and feeling and sensing into the back of the heart, into the space between the shoulder blades, and noticing what sensations are living in this space, in through the tissue, the muscle, and even the vertebrae of the spine. You can stay exactly as you are. If you feel a sense of deepening, you can take your props away and let the whole body hang, perhaps shifting towards tortoise pose, sliding the forearms under your calf muscles, palms face down, relaxing your head. Slowly unbinding your arms, taking a few breaths to roll all the way up. Floating your head over your pelvis and sinking back and down through the sits bones. Extending your legs open into a straddle, we'll come into dragonfly pose and deepen into the inner leg lines. Taking a big breath here. As you exhale, soften your toes and fold forward. Again, lots of support for your chest, for your forehead. 
So you can feel as though you're floating here in this posture, fully held and supported. Feeling a sense of letting go as you drop into the pull of gravity. A sense of shedding through the nervous system. Letting go of any sensations. Emotional memories. Any sense of burden being held in your body and through the nervous system. And can you stay connected to the sensations of your body here? without disassociating. Sending the golden light to each part of your body. Taking a few more breaths. Taking your time to roll up. Finding your breath, extending up into the center of your heart. Pausing here. And as you're ready, 
We're deepening now in through the tissue of the hips where there's a lot of emotional holding through the hips. We'll bend through the left knee and shift over to the left side of the body, onto the left hip. And we'll come into deer pose, bringing two 90 degree angles through the legs. If it feels too intense to have your back leg at a 90 degree angle, you can always slide the heel and the knee a bit closer towards each other. And we'll take a breath here, inhaling. Just letting the weight of the left hip sink downward and then folding forward over the thigh and the knee, adding any cushioning you might need between the thigh and the stomach or props you might need for your forehead. Compressing the weight of the body into the tissue band around your hip. Beginning to sense and feel into the hip, the back, and the pelvis. If you're feeling a gradual sense of deepening, you can always draw the heart center over the shin bone and that will take you a little bit deeper through the hips. You can even take your right elbow and hug the left heel. If this is too intense or you're feeling any pressure on your knee, then come back to the first position. Three full and deep breaths here.
And this time as you come up, we'll bring a little bit of movement to our body. We'll bring our palms behind us, our back leg forward. Rocking your knees from side to side. And massaging each hip as you move. And then we'll come all the way over to the right side, shifting to the right hip and again to 90 degree angles through our legs, lifting the hip up and over to the edge of the mat until you feel the whole tissue band around the hip. Taking a breath here, relax your shoulders and fold forward, starting by folding over the thigh and the knee. And if you do feel a sense of deepening, you can make that little shift over to the shin bone, hugging the right heel with the left elbow. Take your last breath.
coming up and finding that little bit of movement, you can lean back and rock your hips from side to side. And we'll take a little bit of a twist through the spine. So as your knees drop to the right, you can look all the way behind you, taking a big breath here. Exhaling all the way over to the other side. And then we'll come back through center and we'll cross at our shin bones, coming onto hands and knees, sliding any extra cushioning you need under your knees. And we'll keep our hips over the knees, but stretch the palms forward to the top of the mat, relaxing the heart and letting your forehead rest either on the ground or fold up a blanket and place that underneath your forehead. And we'll take a few moments here in heart melting pose. From heart melting pose, come into child's pose. Sink back towards your heels. Keep your palms stretched out in front of you and bring your palms together to touch into prayer pose. We'll bend our elbows, floating the palms up to the sky and then towards the back wall, resting your wrists at the base of your skull, walking your elbows an inch forward and hugging the elbows closer to your head. Feeling through the side of the rib cage, your armpits all the way down to the tips of the elbows. Relax your palms forward and lift all the way up to all fours. From all fours, we're coming into pigeon pose. We're revisiting our hips and pelvis, flexing through the left foot and walking your toes back. 
taking a couple of breaths, perhaps adding some props underneath the left hip. And as we come forward from here, let's come halfway down and pause here, really shifting the weight of the body away from the knee and into the hip. And if you'd like, you can take a twist here. You can take your left, your right arm and thread it underneath your left. So you'll lower down to the right shoulder and turn your head towards the bent knee. And if you come into this posture and feel any tension whatsoever in your knee, then please come out of the twist and come back to a neutral spine. You don't want to add any strain to your knee. Unwind the upper body and take a couple of breaths here with your spine at neutral. Feeling into the outer hip and noticing any emotional currents that are present. Lifting all the way up. Taking a breath as you lift and expand up through the chest. And then tuck your back toe, slide your knee forward and release your left leg behind you. Pulsing out the heel. Just letting all that fluid move down through the leg line. And then we'll move to the opposite side. Let's slide our right knee behind our wrist, flexing through the foot and walking the toes back, shifting the weight away from your knee towards the hip, adding any support to keep the pelvis neutral here. And we'll take a breath and optional twist on this side as well. So you can thread your left arm underneath the right and lower down to the left shoulder, being mindful that there's no weight through the front knee.
unwind your spine and come back to center, taking a few breaths. And then coming all the way up, big breath up into your chest. Shifting over to the right hip and swinging both legs around in front of you. And let's shake out our legs. And before we come onto our back, we'll take a few moments again in seated posture, checking in with ourselves again. Coming to a nice long spine and we'll take lotus mudra with our hands. We'll bring our wrists together to touch, our thumbs and our pinky fingers. And then draw the thumbs towards the chest and expand the remaining six fingers out from center. Closing your eyes. Rooting down through the tailbone. And imagining the golden light of your breath filling up the lotus flower. And noticing if there's any emotions from the past that you're ready to let go of and release. Filling up the lotus flower with the pulse of your heart. That sincere wish from the deeper spiritual heart. Taking a breath and extend your palms upwards towards the sun. Connecting to the wisdom of the crown chakra. and the universal wisdom of the universe and the cosmos and letting it go. Releasing your palms down from the crown of your head and towards the earth. Palms grounding into the earth Letting the earth absorb all that you're ready to release. And from this space, let's come down onto our backs. Taking a hold of your prop, your block, or your cushion. And we'll bring a little lift to our hips and just sliding our prop to the sacrum, resting the sacrum. And taking a moment here to shift the fluids of the body towards the heart space, nourishing the heart.
feeling the full weight of your pelvic bowl relaxed as you remove the prop from underneath you. Lower down through the vertebrae of the spine, touching your tailbone down. Let your knees knock in towards each other. Widen your feet apart. Taking a breath. And we'll bring our palms open into a T-shape, palms facing the sky. Rocking your head from one side and then over to the other side. And then letting your knees rock from one side to the other your head moving in the opposite direction of your knees. Both knees drop all the way over to the left, head to the right, pause here, floating in the shape. And taking your knees all the way over to the right and your head to the left. And bringing your knees and your head back to center, hug your knees to your chest, round your spine, forehead to your knees. Finding your final relaxation, coming into Shavasana for deep emotional integration of your practice. Taking a breath in, exhaling with open mouth. And letting the whole body relax on the ground. Allowing yourself to float in this space of conscious relaxation for as long as you need. And I'll close our practice today with the sound of the Aum, letting the Aum move through every cell of your body. a wonderful day. I hope this practice was helpful for you and please do subscribe to the channel and I always love to hear from you so leave your comments after your shavasana below and I'll see you next time. Namaste.